Hello guys, this is Rusty78609, not in Central Texas. I'm driving down Interstate 10, and I just passed through Kent, Texas, and uh, I'm on my way, or was on my way to Balboa State Park and over to Davis Mountain State Park. However, just out of curiosity, because one of the problems you always have when you go camping is finding a good spot to camp. The rest of the trip kind of works out for itself. Gear Springs is a good spot, a place north of Las Cruces, New Mexico. And again, I'm camping in my Prius, my Toyota Prius, and uh, I'm what you call it dry camping. So, uh, just out of curiosity, I decided I would call Bar Balmeray State Park and verify the fact that they had some tent camping spots open. And guess what? They don't! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> They've got a diving group there coming to check. They go there to train scuba divers in large groups every now and then in those beautiful clear springs and so they've got a group there and she said every site was taken and I thought well all is not lost because I'm always prepared with a backup so I immediately called Davis Mountains State Park and at first I couldn't get anybody to answer the phone. They kept saying, leave a message, call a certain number for reservations, blah, 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 blah. Finally, I get a human being on the phone and I told the lady that I was planning on doing some tent camping there tonight. And she informed me that that would be very difficult as they have a scout group coming in there and the tent sites will be taken up for two nights, for the weekend, Friday night, Saturday night. And that's another lesson I've learned in the past, that whenever you're traveling and you want to camp, be at your campsite on Thursday through the weekend. Well, I had one at Gear Springs, but I thought, well, I'll kind of leisurely head back toward home. I'm about camped out. And... Uh, so I got up this morning and I went through Las Cruces and picked up some ice and some stuff. And the Lowe's grocery store in Las Cruces is not near as nice as the Lowe's in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Make a point of that. So, anyway, I left the gear and I thought, well, if I get to Balboa, which is usually never crowded, because it's in the middle of nowhere with virtually nothing and I thought I would be there before 2 o'clock, which I'll be close, would have been close, but about 2.30. But anyway, those, these are the things that happen when you're traveling or camping, particularly RVing. And if you're RVing and you need hookups, uh, man, you better have three backups because all kinds of things can happen. And, uh, but that's, you know, that's the only downside for me going camping is, is finding a camp spot that I like. And, uh, other, you know, I could camp at a Walmart in Fort Stockton if I wanted to, but I'm not, I'm not, I've only got, if I drive all the way home today, I will have driven about, 600 miles, you hear me? Truckers can't even drive that far. They limit them to 10 hours. Well, they'd be close, 600 miles, but anyway. So I'll probably, I feel good, feel fine. I didn't, you know, whenever I'm traveling a long distance like this, I don't eat, I just drink plenty of water. I do eat bananas, I'll eat uh, two or three bananas. That's it, IT. And uh, keep yourself lean. You'll be more alert when you're traveling. Because
because if you eat a meal like a hamburger or something, you, you really become lethargic. But if you eat a banana, you, you boost your potassium level, you feel okay. And I'm 71 and I've done it before. Hell, I drove, where did I drive from? Oh, I drove, I drove one time, I was, I was in Taos, New Mexico, it's 750 miles one way to my house. And I was going to stay at Story Lake on the way back through New Mexico. It's just a little nothing state park. Well, always that one time, you know what I mean? And it just happened that they were having some kind of event in that little town near Story Lake. And, uh, and there was no, you couldn't even park in the overflow. I mean, I, I thought, hell, I'll just pull over to a parking spot. Wouldn't let me. They said, "No, you got to either a campsite or nothing." So I ended up. I drove that. <clears throat> it's 12 hours. Is what it was. And uh, I don't like to do that. But this is okay because this is, you know, it's Interstate 10 for 500 miles, and the last hundred will be two-lane roads, country roads in Texas, and it'll be unfortunately right at sunset when all the little night animals love to come out and stand in the road for you to run into them. And uh, so what you can do, I uh, can give you a little tip on that too. Whenever you're traveling on roads at night where there are numerous deer or other wildlife that could run out in front of you and damage your car, now the ones that you can just run over like coons and skunks, that's not a big problem, even though the coons and the skunks don't think so. But deer are the ones that get you. And uh, particularly the white-tailed deer, because there's so many of them in Lano County and Burnett County, and that's right in the area that I have to go through the last part of my drive. But what you do is, about every four or five miles, you just beep, beep. tap your horn like that, what that will do, the deer will hear that for a dozen miles, believe it or not, and they'll freeze, they'll stop, and look, and listen, and they'll hold that pose, sometimes for a few minutes, until they are perfectly certain that there's nothing coming that's going to harm them, and sometimes when you do that little beep beep, uh, you'll actually go, come down the road and there'll be some deer standing there with their old ears all perked up. And so that's a tip. They also make a little thing you can put on your bumper that makes a high-pitched whistling noise. I'm not too sure they work that well. I, at one time I had one on my pickup. It didn't seem to do anything. I think the deer liked the sound. So, but anyway, where am I now? I'm about 100 miles from Fort Stockton headed well, they say east on Interstate 10, but actually it's kind of south. And from Fort Stockton to my house is almost exactly four and a half hours. It's 300 miles exactly from there. So I will arrive in Fort Stockton at about three o'clock Central Standard Time. Oh, by the way, this is October the, what is the day? Four, five, six, seven, 28. October the 28th, 2016 at 2.01 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I under, I got a, I was listening to the radio. I mean, you couldn't hardly find the station. And uh, I just had to get a, a, a CNN news bulletin on one station. And it was, they're re reopening the investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails. <laughs> oh, God. You know, you just got to know, folks. I mean, you got this country polarized right now. You got the liberals on one side. And then you got not, not the normal Republican conservatives on one. You got the ultra conservatives. You've got the... You've got the uh, center of this country, the 
red states that they are up in arms for what they're doing everything they can, which, you know, that quid pro quo, in Latin that means this for that. So anyway, I guess it's a little payback, but everybody was kind of wondering what the October surprise was going to be. Of course, Trump let Clinton fire her cannons first, which was the groping. He was a groper, or is a groper, whatever the hell that is. And uh, I, I, some of those girls that uh, they showed, hell, I'd grope them too. They'd stand still long enough. But having said all that, here's a sign up here that tells me I am 16 miles from Balmeray and 378 miles from San Antonio. And believe it or not, that 378 is about how many miles I got to go to get home. But anyway, just thought I'd check in with you guys. And uh, as far as doing more Prius trips, I'll do them occasionally. I think the Gear Springs campground, I like it. It's really nice. And I, I was planning on, I thought, well, you know, I'd go to the grocery store and then I'd stay, go ahead and stay Friday night, Saturday night, and then leave on Sunday. But, I didn't. I thought I got into Las Cruces and I thought, well, am I going to drive an hour back out there or just kind of head on south? And I thought, hell, I'll just head on south, spend the night or two, and then head home. It was a hell of a good plan. A hell of a good plan. But sometimes being flexible or being uh, like I do, just shooting from the hip when I'm camping, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And that's just the way life is. But I can handle it. Trust me. Having said all that, I know y'all are enjoying this beautiful scenery out here in West Texas. I mean, there is nothing that looks like my phone leaning. Well, that, that's an angle. But anyway, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Bye, American made. Uh, when you can, if you can't, do the best you can. So y'all enjoy your life. Stay fit and drink plenty of water. Bye.